We have team coverage from marches across the Hampton Roads area and beyond. Our Asia Tolliver has more on how people in Norfolk got involved. Asia? Well, hundreds of people led by local students marched up Main Street as part of the rally in Norfolk. We ran into students from Maury, Granby, and Churchland High School, just to name a few. Students tell me they participated in this march to prove they are taking a stand. They say they are not going to be silenced. One of the students tells me the ultimate goal of this march is not to let this problem die out like it has in the past. They say if adults aren't going to do anything, then they are. Students say they will keep fighting until the schools are safe by demanding common since gun laws. More than anything to bring attention to the issue of kids just don't feel safe in schools anymore. I mean, since Columbine, this has really been a big issue, and I think it's just getting worse and worse, and it's going to continue that way until any action is taken, especially legislative action. Several students say they feel empowered after marching today and that this is just the beginning. Coming up at 11, hear from other students across Hampton Roads and find out why they came out to march. Aisha Tolliver, 10 on your side. All right, Aisha, let's take a look at the march earlier today in Chesapeake. Our digital content producer, Taylor O'Beer, took this video. About 30 people attended the event on the steps of Chesapeake City Hall. Several people spoke prior to marching. Each told their personal experience with gun violence and why they wanted it to end. The marchers included young children and citizens from Suffolk. Elsewhere, several dozen people joined the March for Our Lives rally in Williamsburg. While some spoke in front of the crowd, others held signs. One read, arms should be for hugging. Another, protect me.